emergency drill at Da Nang International Airport. More than 40 nations and territories investing in Da Nang. Mid Autumn Festival for Workers' Children. Hello, it's great to see you back in the RT News. On September the 29th evening, Standing Deputy Secretary of the City Party's Committee, Vo Gomji, received a delegation from the Central Committee for External Relations of Vietnam and Laos on the occasion of their working visit to the city to attend the ninth Friendship Exchange Program between the two country external relations commissions taking place in Da Nang. Standing Deputy Secretary of the City's Party Committee, Vo Okumji, expressed his pleasure to welcome the delegation of the Central Committee for External Relations of Vietnam and Laos to work in Da Nang. Over the past years, Da Nang has had good relations with many Laos localities, especially the southern area of Laos. The city has given support in education, health, and planning to these provinces. So far, there have been nearly 750 Laotian students studying in Da Nang, of which hundreds of students received scholarships. In the first half of this year, the Da Nang's export value to Laos reached 24 million US dollars, a year-on-year -year increase of nearly 57 percent. Head of the Central Committee for External Relations of Vietnam and Laos, South Phong Seiya Chak, said that Da Nang is a dynamic, clean and beautiful city, worth being the economic hub of the central region, and is a suitable venue for hosting such major events as APAC. Dana has also done a good job in its foreign affairs, especially in the cooperation with Laos. On September the 30th morning, the Danang Department of Tourism, in cooperation with the Asia Leading Travel Management Company, organized the training course for the receptionists from 18 official and reserved hotels for the state leaders attending the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017. The experts from several five-star hotels in Hanoi with experience in serving APAC have shared common information on the APAC events about customs and habits of every country, the principles of diplomatic reception, and the common situation in serving the APAC delegates, such as receptionist skills, room service, catering, Islamic food processing, and the problem-solving skills. Apart from this training course, from now until October the 3rd, the Da Nang Department of Tourism will organize nine other training courses for hotels and restaurants in the city to best serve the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017, contributing to creating good impression on international visitors and friends about a safe, friendly, and attractive destination. On September the 29th afternoon at the Da Nang International Airport, the Civil Aviation Administration of Vietnam, in collaboration with the Da Nang Firefighting Police Department and relevant units, held an airport emergency drill aiming at ensuring special aviation safety during the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017, taking place in Da Nang in the forthcoming November. This was a comprehensive drill consisting of two phases, mechanism operation and military drill, aiming at practicing, enhancing the ability in organizing, commanding, and coordinating among the involved forces, improving the management and implementation of search and rescue in handling emergency situations when an aircraft encounters incidents at the Dano International Airport, as well as completing the search and rescue plant in neighboring areas of the airport. The Airport Emergency Drill 2017 was an occasion to affirm the special aviation safety guaranteed during the upcoming APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017 event in Da Nang. On September the 29th morning, the Nguyễn Hiện Nguyễn Thung Theatre held a ceremony to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the establishment of the Vietnam Liberation Tung Troop, Nguyễn Hiện Nguyễn Thung Theatre, 1967-2017, and received the First Class Labor Medal. Founded on July the 21st, 1967, during the 50 years of establishment and development, the theater has received many noble awards of the party and the state. 
On behalf of the CD leaders, Vice Chairman of the CD's People's Committee, Zheng Wang Ming, recognized the achievements made by the Wiki Yin Tung Theater. He also suggested the theater continue striving and making full use of its advantages as well as actively making any new plays and organizing many effective activities to bring Tung art to the public. Deputy Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, Wei Bing, stressed that with its achievements in over the past 15 years, we Yin Tung Theater will continue preserving the art of Tung and being an important pillar in maintaining the cultural identity of the nation. According to the Danak Investment Promotion Agency, there are more than 40 countries and territories investing in Danang, with 495 projects and the total investment capital of over 3 billion US dollars. Particularly, leading the list in terms of total investment capital is Singapore, with 23 projects and the total registered capital of more than 770 million US dollars, followed by Japan with 134 projects and the total investment capital of 595 million US dollars, the US with 46 projects and more than 500 million US dollars in capital and South Korea with 83 projects and total investment capital of more than 244 million US dollars. Particularly, in the first eight months of this year, the city has 43 FDI projects newly licensed with a total registered capital of 60 million US dollars, up by 4.6 times over the same period last year. The amount of capital of foreign investors making capital contribution, share purchase, contributed capital in the economic organizations in Dallas was over $52.8 billion. Danang is now working on many solutions and proposals with the aim of developing Danang into a smart city, which will take advantage of IT application to all fields of life, contributing to enhancing the city government's management efficiency. Danang can be assumed to be one of the leading localities of the country to pursue the plan of building a smart city. On the grounds of successfully building and operating the e-government, in 2014, the Municipal Party Committee approved the proposal of smart city development. Since then, the city has implemented many related applications and systems to realize the proposal. In the coming time, the City People's Committee will sum up the first phase of cooperation with Viettel on this project, as well as issue the general architectural frame for the construction of the smart city, creating the grounds for the future development. Moreover, the city continues to call for domestic and international experts and organizations for further cooperation in developing smart city-related applications. Confronting the situation of foreigners illegally working at tour guides, Dana Department of Tourism has suggested the City People's Committee to direct functional departments and agencies to continue strengthening the management and ratification over travel and tour guide activities taking place in the locality. The City Department of Tourism will maintain ongoing inspection of travel business and travel guide activities, at the same time coordinate with functional agencies to detect and handle cases where foreigners are listed as members of the tourist groups as legal cover-up for their tour guide services. The department also asked the travel club to tap on the market of Chinese tourists and the tour guide association to provide management solutions, raising professional competencies and ethics for tour guide cohorts. So far, the city's health sector has implemented plans to ensure health care services, serving the upcoming APAC Economic Leaders Week taking place in Danang. The city's health sector set up 23 emergency medical terms to be on duty at hotels serving APAC, including 17 teams at 17 hotels for senior officer leaders. In addition, the Department of Health has also directed four major hospitals in the city to participate in serving the event. The work of ensuring food safety and hygiene is also the top priority of the sector. The relevant units have been directed to urgently take measures to prevent food food poisoning, prevent epidemic, and ensure environmental sanitation. 
On September the 29th evening, at the Gopne District Cultural and Sports Center, the Danak Labor Union organized the program theme Enjoying Mid-Autumn Festival for the workers' children at the Hwakam Industrial Zone and from the residential areas in the district. During the festival, children enjoyed a lot of art performances such as magic, lion dance, mid-autumn festival gifts, etc. Through the program, the Municipal Labor Union wants to show its interest in protecting and caring for children, especially the disadvantaged ones, and to share difficulties and encourage all workers at the industrial parts to make every effort in their lives. On this occasion, the organizing board gave 400 gifts to the disadvantaged children, wishing them and their families a meaningful mid-autumn festival. That's all we have for today's news. Don't forget to log on to drt.danak.vn for more news and updates. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.